Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of angels. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art everywhere and fillest all things, treasure of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of age. Amen. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages and ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou art very great. Thou art clothed with honor and majesty. Coverest thyself with light as with a garment, who has stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of thy chambers on the waters, who makest the clouds thy chariot, who ridest on the wings of the weak, who makest the winds thy messengers, fire and flame thy ministers. Thou didst set the earth on its foundations, so that it should never be shaken. Thou didst cover it with the deep as with a garment, the waters stood above the mountains. At thy rebuke they fled, at the sound of thy thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which thou didst appoint for them. Thou didst set a bound which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. Thou makest springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills, they give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From thy lofty abode thou waterest the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of thy work. Thou dost cause the grass to grow for the cattle, and plants for man to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth, and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly. The cedars of Lebanon which he planted, in them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. Thou hast made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows its time for setting. Thou makest darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are thy works in wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is full of thy creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships, and the vial in which thou hast born to sport in it. These all look to thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest to them, they gather it up. When thou openest thy hand, they are filled with good things. When thou hidest thy face, they are dismayed. When 
thou takest away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have been. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God.
For thy name's sake, and thy patience be waiting for thee, O Lord, and my soul hath waited patiently for thy word. My soul hath walked in the world. Joy in the voice of the word is born, in the seeds of the rise.
time when the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep, and Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, pardon and remission of sins, of the servants of God, the faithful of this holy temple, and all Orthodox Christians of true worship, who live and sojourn in this community. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who obey thy great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. greatest man ever born. And that's not my opinion. That was Jesus' opinion of John, as we hear recorded in the scripture. Uh, and actually, Martha Rakowski shared a little tidbit of information with me today that, you know, that plant, uh, the herb St. John's wort, it blooms around this time, and that's why it's called that, uh, in honor of the nativity of St. John. So, fast fact for the evening. I learned it, and now I'm sharing it with all of you people that are here and the five or six that are watching at home. <laughs> so, um, uh, so now we have an obligation to share that. Um, so we know that the, the nativity of, of St. John, of course, for us, uh, much more than uh, identifying a, um, a plant that we all know about, but we don't know where the origin of the name came from now we know, um, uh, is because of his, his important vocation uh, in, in the economy of our salvation being the um, one who preceded the forerunner of Christ, the one who would baptize him, uh, the one who would even precede him into Hades and proclaim Christ so that when Christ came in and destroyed the bonds of hell and those things that held us prisoner from all the ages, uh, that um, even those in hell would be ready to receive Christ, um, the one who raises us from the dead. Uh, and 
Also, we celebrate the memory of the virgin martyr, uh, Fibronia. Beautiful uh, story, a difficult story, like most martyrs. Um, but she died in the year 310. So that's a couple of years ago, right? Uh, she died in the year 310. She, um, as a very young girl, had a, um, a deep desire and love for Christ. And she fled marriage to go and seek uh, monasticism. Her aunt was an abbess. And she welcomed her and received her uh, into monasticism. Um, but there were um, many who were uh, sort of desirous of Fibronia, uh, including a secret Christian who was in the army of Diocletian, uh, whose uncle happened to be a very uh, bad man uh, who uh, enjoyed persecuting Christians. Uh, and ultimately, they tracked down Fibronia and many other Christians that were there at the time, and she gave her life for the sake of Christ. But also, this uh, would-be suitor of hers uh, also gave his life for the sake of Christ. Uh, and um, I love this, um, this hymn to the Virgin Martyrs. Um, anytime we celebrate one of the Virgin Martyrs, I, I think it's important for us to hear these words and, um, and to the best of our ability, um, try to live up to them. Uh, and this is what the hymn uh, said. Thy you lamb for Bronia, O Jesus, cried out to thee with a loud voice, I love thee, O my bridegroom, and seeking thee, I pass through many struggles. It's enough right there, but it goes on. I am crucified and buried with thee in baptism and suffer for thy sake that I might reign with thee. I die for thee that I might live with thee. As an unblemished sacrifice, accept me, which sacrifice my, my, who sacrificed myself with love for thee. At her prayers, and that thou art merciful, save our souls. So this is, gets to the, the root of the Christian message and that imagery of Christ as the bridegroom and, and we, the church, his bride. Um, it's a relationship based in love. It's a relationship based in love. If it's one that's based in fear, uh, in future rewards, and all these other types of things, we miss the boat. The martyrs, the saints, uh, even St. John the Baptist, uh, and all of the saints show us what it's like to have a deep and abiding love for Christ. Not something superficial, but something very deep. Uh, and so anytime I hear uh, these words, I'm, I'm accused because I know that my love isn't uh, this strong uh, yet. I hope to be perfected in it. Um, uh, and I hope God gives me many years to, to build in that. Uh, but also to be encouraged uh, by the life of Fibronia and all the other martyrs and all of the other saints. And to tell you the truth, we can be encouraged by one another because we are enduring a common trial right now, right? Uh, and we need to encourage one another to seek Christ with love. Uh, and if we do that, uh, we know that just like the martyr Fibronia, we'll reign with Christ. Uh, uh, and this, is, this for us is the best thing ever. So brothers and sisters, I pray that through her, through her prayers, uh, we might desire to love Christ just a little bit more each and every day. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. So Bible study uh, tonight is, uh, I don't know how and how many minutes, but uh, we're studying the book of Acts. And I would encourage anyone that would like to join the study. If you haven't been following all along and you want to jump in, uh, you're welcome to. So it's at 7.30 and you can find the login information on, um, on our latest parish email. Okay, God bless you all. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.